Now today we're going over what it takes to test and replace a main relay. How do you find the relay on your specific vehicle? Well just do a quick web search and typically you can pick up where the relay lives. Just to give you some ideas, here's a video grab of where it lives on a Subaru, which is underneath the glove box. Another video grab on the Acura TL, and also on a Nissan Maxima, which is essentially on the driver's side kick panel. The last resort is you could try the fuse and relay box underneath the hood or the bonnet, but typically you'll find them inside the cabin. Now I will list all of the tools in the description box below in case you need anything, but we really only need a few things. Number one is a digital multimeter. These are test leads, which are essentially just wires with alligator clips on the ends of them. And then we need a battery source for 12 volts. Now this older pack pushes out 11 volts, which is more than enough to turn on the relay if it works. If you have any older power tools with a 12 volt battery pack, you can also use one of these because as you can see, you have a positive and a negative. And we're just transferring power from the pack directly to the relay. So let's start by plugging in the leads that come with the multimeter. And now I want to transfer power from the pack to the relay. Now this is essentially a switch. So if this is working correctly, you will hear a clicking noise. And that's a good sign, but it's not a guarantee that it's working correctly and that's why we need the multimeter. So let's start by using these alligator wires or these clips here. Now, if you're curious or you're wondering how do you know which terminals to touch, well, we'll just do process of elimination, okay? Now, once you hook up these wires, make sure that you don't cross or touch them, okay? So don't touch these two because this is live. Now, this relay is from the Subaru, and this is from the Acura. Now, if you have a five terminal relay, I'll link another video in the description box below, but let's just try through process of elimination to turn on and power up this relay. You will hear a clicking noise, okay, if the relay is good. So nothing is going on here. You can even try flipping it, nothing. Now let's try the vertical posts. And there we go, you hear that? That is a very, very good sign. If you do this and do not hear any clicking, the relay is most likely bad, but we will double check that. Okay, so now let's try that with the Acura relay. Once again, nothing going on. You can even flip it. Nothing going on. Vertical posts. And there you go. Okay, now let's see with 100% certainty if this is a good or bad relay. So let's power on the relay. And then with the multimeter, just be careful, you don't want these two terminals to touch. With the multimeter, you have a setting for continuity. That looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot, okay, the symbol. And that just means two points make a connection and you have an audible alert, okay? Now, with the power being applied to the relay, we should have continuity, and we do. So this is 100%, without a doubt, a working relay. If I remove the power, nothing, okay? Whoops, absolutely nothing. So that's how you test a relay very quickly. I'll do it on the Subaru here and we can wrap it up. Okay, that's on, and there you go. So both of these relays are in perfect shape. So you can quickly and easily test this relay at home and really any relay on your vehicle. Now, if you do need the relay, make sure you go with quality parts. So both of these are Denso made in Japan. You want good, high quality parts. If you still have trouble, your vehicle is not cranking or maybe it's just not starting, I'll include some other links in the description box below and hopefully you can diagnose and see what the heck is going on. But that's all it takes to test these. Really, really easy. And as always, thank you for watching.